In short and sweet terms, upgrade when you feel your computer cannot do what you want it to anymore, or that you're not satisfied with how fast programs can run, or if you're a gamer or a content creator, you are no longer able to run modern games or render projects in a reasonable time. While swapping out parts can sometimes be a good idea, for example, if you were to upgrade your aging laptop from its slower hard disk drive to a faster solid state drive, with a clean install of Windows, you'd be off the races and may breathe a few more years into your laptop with no problem. However, when everything starts to slow down to the point where you need to install Linux on it, or an older and thus less secure version of Windows, for it to even be able to run more than a snail speed, then you might want to consider upgrading. For gamers, if you find your computer is lacking the ability to play at higher resolutions and qualities in newer titles, then you may need to put in a new graphics card. A good example would be if you currently have an FX series CPU from AMD or an Ivy Bridge CPU from Intel. You most likely can get away with simply upgrading your graphics card from that old HD 6900 or Nvidia 780 Ti to the more modern equivalents of the uh, Radeon RX 580 or the RX Vega for Team Red or the 1080 Ti for Team Green. For content creators, if you find your computer is slower at rendering than normal, SSD media might be a good move but most likely your CPU cannot handle the strain of X264 encoding anymore, or your GPU is just tired and can no longer help in accelerating the video encoding. Upgrading your CPU and your GPU in this case would help you greatly in most situations. However, if you are on a tight budget, you can simply buy a used but more advanced CPU for your current socket if you have an upgrade path. Say for example you bought an Ivy Bridge i5, you could buy an Ivy Bridge i7 for slightly better performance, and hopefully it would work better than your old aging i5. GPUs are currently quite expensive thanks to cryptocurrency mining, so you could always get a couple cheap P600 quadros from eBay and throw them into your system to assist with GPU accelerated rendering if you aren't looking for a complete upgrade. Finally, if you feel that your system is just too old, too slow, or is actually dying, you can sell the system on eBay or Facebook groups as long as you explain what is going on and that the system is dying. The extra money could help you afford a brand new system. However, if you don't feel like selling your system, you can turn it into an altcoin miner, a Plex server, or a home network attached storage box. All of those videos are coming very soon, so click subscribe if you are interested in any of those topics and stay tuned in the following weeks. Sometimes you don't want to sell or use an old system, so what do you do then? Well, you can actually give it away to organizations like Goodwill or Say, for example, if you're in Canada, Free Geek, or you can even give it off to a recycling center to be decomposed properly. Now, what happens if you upgraded certain components and then your system dies anyway? Well, those new components that you bought or used newer components that you bought can be put in a new, more modern system. Or, say, for example, you just upgraded your CPU, you could always resell that CPU if, say, your motherboard dies and you don't want to just buy a new motherboard. Another common question, as I mentioned earlier, is how should you dispose of electronics properly? Well, honestly, most areas have local recycling centers that you can inquire about, you can call them, email them, most of them have websites even, and ask about their recycling prices. Most junkyards will also accept the scrap from your system, like old cases, hard drives, power supply, and cooling gear like radiators and heat sinks. 
be sure that you separate the copper from your aluminum so that if you turn in aluminum, you can turn it in as aluminum and your copper as copper so that you get more money. So is it time for you to upgrade? Well, unfortunately, only you can know that answer. No one can tell you when to pull the trigger and upgrade your components or your computer. Only you know if you can afford it and if it's right for you to upgrade right now. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to wear your space seatbelts.